Great. Hi, guys. For those who do not know about me, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Leo. I'm the CEO and founder of Leo Lee Educations. And in the past two years, our company has taken pride in helping migrants landing their dream jobs because we believe that it is essential that migrants coming to Australia with hopes and dreams should and deserve to get a good job. All right, so today, guys, I'm going to share with you the three biggest job hunting mistakes that international students make. And if you make these mistakes, it will cost you dearly. All right. I'm sharing with you based on all the students that I have helped. Many students come to me for help and they make the same mistakes. Okay, so the first mistake is, are you guys ready? The first mistake is you guys only apply jobs on Seek and LinkedIn. All right. One of the major biggest mistakes you guys should note down if you're watching this is that you guys only apply jobs through these online platforms. What else out there? Korea One, Zora, Indeed, Seek, LinkedIn. What else? Glassdoor, something like that. Right. So all these mistakes, this mistake is probably the biggest ones. Can someone tell me in the chat box, what are the problems with applying jobs on these platforms? Can someone tell me put in the chat box? If you, if someone want to, you know, put in some input, what are some problems if you apply jobs through these platforms? Anyone knows? Anybody knows? Yes, sir, Mr. Hassan. The first one is Visa. Visa. They're always going to ask for PR. They're always going to ask for citizenships. Right. What else? Other than Visa and experience. Uh, so see, I just, I just told you the answer. Yes, Mr. Uh, June. Lots of applicants. Too many. Too many. Indeed. If Mr. June apply for jobs, uh, if he apply on LinkedIn, and if the job was published, probably, you know, a few hours, probably there's already, you know, hundreds of candidates. Anyone seen that? Anyone seen that? Say yes if you've seen that. You see the job posted, maybe a few hours, you apply, and then there's already another hundred plus other applicants. So that is the issue, the issue with these online platforms, guys. Obviously, AI is one thing. It's called the... Uh, applicant tracking system ats that's another thing so this is why you guys chance to land a jobs in us in australia are very unlikely you guys understand say yes you understand because most of you as a graduate you wouldn't have experience yes or no and this is also why can you guys still hear me or is, is am i lagging and this is also why, oh, yeah, please give me some thumbs up, guys. Yeah, yeah, I like that. This is my first time, so give me some encouragement. huh? <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Um, so yeah, competitions, right? So that is why even for a junior role nowadays, when Mr. Abilash applied for job, even for junior roles, they're going to ask for how many experience? Two years, three years. Chup, chup, chup. Two years, three years experience, right? Now tell me, how is it possible that a fresher, a graduate, will have two to three years of local experience? Guys, is that even possible? Chat box for me. Do you think it is, it is possible or not for someone who just finished their study, have never worked in the industry before, and they are required to have two to three years of local experience. Is that possible, guys? The answer is no, it's not possible. It is impossible. <laughs> right, guys, for those who just joined in, I'm sharing with everyone the three biggest job hunting mistakes that international students make in Australia. The first one is you guys apply online. Major mistakes. All right. So this is why my students 
from our job coaching program. They don't apply like you. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? And this is why we are able to, to help more than 200 international student landing jobs in just the past two years. Right, Mr. Amrit Tapa, it's nice to see you. Right, this is why if you guys just apply online, you're wasting time. I'm telling you, you're wasting time. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, so don't get my words wrong. You it's still there are chance to land a job on those platforms, but the idea is it is very unlikely. You guys understand? It is very unlikely. The chance of you landing a job on SIG is just so unlikely. It's just like gambling. How likely you are you are uh, going to win some gambling, right? The odds are against you. Okay, so that's the big, the number one first uh, biggest mistakes. Everyone enjoying it so far? Give me a thumbs up. Give me some love if you're enjoying this. I'm doing this for free, guys. I'm telling you. Just trying to help. Now, if you want to know more about these sort of things, right, or if you want me or my team to help you more, you can reach out to me. Send me a DM, all right? The second bit, let's talk about the second biggest one. Anyone ready? Anyone ready? Say yes, you are ready. Anyone ready for the second mistakes you guys are making? Yeah, Mr. Arjun, no edge to compete. You have no chance. So unlikely, Mr. Arjun. Okay, and this is why even this, the, the, even the word, the, the job say junior, but it's not really junior. You guys feel me? Even the job say junior, but it's not really junior. <laughs> right. So let's go for the next one, right? The second biggest mistake is you guys never, ever follow up. Ever write that down. Never follow up. Let's say Mr. Amrit Tapa, he applied for jobs on SIG or LinkedIn. How many times do you think he follow ups? Or let's just say, how many times do you guys follow up with the employers after your applications? Chat box for me. Say say one if you follow up one time. Say zero if you never. Can someone tell me how 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 often do you guys follow up with employers? Now, most people, the answer will be never. <laughs> right? Never. Who never follow ups? Who here just apply and finger cross? and wait for the response from the employer. Who here is doing that? Anyone's doing that? Is Mr. Arjun doing that? Is Amri doing that? I guess so. Am I right to say? Am I right to say that, guys? Right, see, Abilash say zero, Asif say none. This is the issue, guys. This is the issue. Let's just say, even if Mr. Asif either Nice to meet you, sir. Even if Mr. Asif follow ups, let's just say he follow ups. The maximum he can follow up is one or two times. Yes or no? Yes or no? He only can follow up that much. And that is where the problems. Because if you want to get a good job, you have to follow up. Write this down, guys. You have to follow up anywhere between five to 12 times. You feel me, guys? You have to follow up anywhere between five to 12 times if you want to increase your likelihood of landing a job. However, you guys have been brainwashed to believe that if employer likes me, they will get back to me. Yes or no? You have been brainwashed to believe it like that. Agree? It is such a horrible thing it's costing you your future i'm telling you a quick story one of my students i hope he's watching this his name is barry his name is barry barry is an electrical engineer he follow up with the same employer for three months for three months guys within the three months he followed up the employer was not responding to him after three months the employer got back to him asking him in for an appointment, for an interview, and he got the job. 
You guys understand what I'm trying to say? He was following up with the same employer for three months. Think about that. How long do you follow up? How often you follow up? Because the thing is, even if Arjun follow up, right, he wouldn't know what to say. Does the employer have limited attention? So 100% Arjun. You need to be concise when you speak to employers. They're only going to give you probably 10 seconds or probably, I don't know, not even 10 to see if they should pay attention to you or not. So the first four, the first three, first five seconds are the most important seconds. If they feel you guys are amateur, you don't know what you're talking about, if you come across as a rookie, if you come across as someone who's not knowing what you're doing, not really clear on why you want to talk with them, they will not talk to you. And they will say something like this. We'll let you know. Anyone hear this? We'll come back to you. Just send us your resume. Say, yes, you understand what I'm trying to say. So coming across as a professional is so important. It's so important. But the thing is, no one teach you guys how to do that. Yes or no? You don't know how to come across professionals. Even though you have all this degree, guys, you study master, bachelor from very highly prestigious university in Australia. But basic things, how to communicate, how to present yourself, how to get your points across. You don't know how to do that. Trust me. Look at look 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 at look around you. You see it. even your friends, your fellow friends. They don't know how to get the ideas across. They don't know how to how to make themselves appealing to the employers, how to make themselves useful to the employer hire them. They don't know how to do that, right? So the second biggest mistake, guys, is you guys don't follow up. You guys been enjoying this so far, guys? Give me some love, guys. Give me some like. What else? What else? Some icons they have here. Like, support, celebrate. <laughs> insightful i like that yeah please guys give me some love i'm doing this for free yeah i'm doing this for pretty much this is the first time i'm just enjoying this <laughs> uh trying to help um just uh a bit of a sidetrack here um our company's goals is in the next two years we want to help at least 1,000 migrants landing jobs who here is keen to become one of my success stories say me in the chat if you want to over the past two years, we have helped more than 200 migrants successfully land their dream jobs, successfully turn their life around from cleaning, Uber, Woolies, Coles, taxi drivers, and they become engineers, accountants, business analysts, biotechnologists, cybersecurity consultant. And uh, we want to hit that numbers, bring that number to one grand, 1,000 people. So I hope some of you in this room will be my students will be one of my success okay so are you guys ready for the last one guys are you guys ready anyone's ready all right let's do this huh the last biggest mistakes that the international student make when they apply for jobs is they think they are their resume <laughs> You guys hear what I just said? They think they are their resume. Or in other words, they think their resume is them. Now, can someone put in the chat box and let me know, are you your resume? Yes or no, guys? Say yes if you think you are your resume, your CV. Say no if you think no, bro, I'm not. Which one is it? Or no. Are you your resume? Guys, throw throw in some response for me. Yeah, guys, and get you. This is for your own goods. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. I'm trying to help here. The answer is nobody knows. Nobody knows. The answer is you are not your resume. Ladies and gentlemen, you are never and will ever be your resume. 
You are a human being. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? You are a human being. Yes, Arjun. The answer is no. You are a person. You are not a piece of paper. But many of you, you treat yourself like you are an A4 paper. You guys know what I'm trying to say? You're like, oh, oh my resume is not good. I send my resume, resume is this, resume that. Now, I'm not saying resume is not important. Don't get me wrong. But the way you guys look at resume as if it is the end all be all to your life, to your career. Trust me, I know students of mine who land a job without a resume. You guys understand? Without a resume. Okay, so if you think you are not a resume, you need to learn how to talk to the employers through the phone. You need to learn how to walk in, knock, knock, knock. You need to learn how to present yourself professionally in front of their doors. You need to learn how to follow up. Again, a resume doesn't follow up. A piece of paper, how can a piece of paper follow up? You need to learn how to negotiate with employers. How can a resume negotiate? Tell me. You need to learn how to create a job referral, job reference. You need to get reference. How can a resume get reference? Okay, guys, so 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 these skills are so important. Cold call, walking, job proposal, referral, follow-up, negotiations. You need to learn this. However, no one teach you this. Yes or no? Nobody teach you this. And because they don't teach you this, what happens is whenever employees say no to you in the first place, you will be like, sorry, bye-bye. Right? You have been taught to give up way too early. Say, yes, you understand what I'm trying to say. You have been conditioned. You have been told to give up at the first sight of hearing no come on guys if you want to get a job you better learn how to negotiate life is the result of how good you are at negotiation that's it if you're good at negotiation you get what you want if you're not good at negotiations that's it game over game over feel me guys this is why this is why my students, even though they have no experience, they're not a PR, they are not a resident here, they still manage to get jobs. Why? Because they know how to negotiate. They know how to convince the employer. They know how to make the employer trust them. But you guys don't. And because you don't, you have you 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 get to suffer very very much okay guys is everyone enjoying this uh this 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 quick uh this quick live stream everyone enjoying that they want to learn something mr arjun i hope you learned something i uh, see if i heard you learn something i be last heard you learn something All right so so guys um that's it for today i'm just i'm just i just want to come in really fast just you know give you guys some some good information now if you want to learn more strategies like this you want to get more idea on how we have helped more than 100 international students in the past two years alone an accomplishment that nobody in this country has achieved come and join me on my webinar this friday at 6 p.m my team will put the link in the comments the link to register for a webinar make sure you click and register it's completely free if you like what i'm sharing with you here or you will love what i'm sharing with you uh in the webinar 10 times more guarantee you that and another thing guys also after this live stream please go on my linkedin check my testimonials read my success read my recommendations of my students we have got more than 200 videos even on my YouTube. You can also 
check my YouTube. We interview our students who got the jobs with us, who really grateful to what we have done, changed their life. I'm telling you guys, no amount of money will make me feel and my team feel this fulfilled. We feel great seeing someone from code end up working as an engineer. Someone in taxi no longer working in taxi and working as an accountant. It makes us feel very happy. And this is our company mission. We aim to change and transform migrants' lives. And but the thing that I'm most proud of is my testimonials, is the 200 plus lives that we have changed in just over the past two years plus. All right, guys. So I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you like this. Bye for now.